Tuesday. Happy Tuesday! You guys are bright tonight. You guys been in the sun? You're blinding me. Is it just me or does the lighting look extra white tonight? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, friends. Are you okay? Is everyone all right? Just doing some, you know, adjusting. It's my first day. It's my first day here. Hi, welcome. Welcome to my first day on the job. How are you doing? Please don't write to HR. Everything's fine. I'm just getting situated. That's much better. Hi. Hi, my friends. I've missed you. I've missed you. I've missed all my friends. How are you? How are you? I'm trying to scroll up. Wait, I got a app. Wait. Yep, I'm in the right thing. Hi, Miss Garcia. Happy Tuesday. You're watching the Misty Show. I miss her. I can't wait to see her soon. It's going to be so much fun. If you guys are doing anything in June, I forget the dates. <laughs> She's going to kill me. Um, The last part of June, Misty's opening up her brick and mortar, and I'm going to be there with Barb. With Barb. It's going to be so much fun. So come on, hang out. Just hang out. <laughs> Nanny, happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a great day. Samantha Richer. Hi, Samantha. Roberta. Hi, Roberta. Hello, Robert. You love my button display? I know it's too much, but like, I have the too much gene. So like, it's just enough, you know? It's like too much, but just enough for me. Eh? I don't know what this is. Redheaded kitty cat. Hello. Happy Vintage Tuesday and welcome, friends. Please remember to be in live chat. All messages. Is it not top messages? Is it? I thought it was. You're supposed to be in all chat, not top chat. I've been doing this for two years. You'd think I'd know. But for some reason, I wanted to say it's in top chat, not top chat. All messages. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. I think I told you it's my first day on the job. Y'all be nice. All messages. Is that what it is? Okay. I got it. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Karen. Thank you so much. And I've lost my place. Crescent moon. Happy Tuesday, Crescent moon. Rusty snail. Hello, everybody. Buggy. <laughs> Debbie Gutierrez. Hi, Teddy. Val M, hello, Sharon Olson, hello, Milo's mom, hello, pretty pansies, pretty pansies. I have to tell you the funniest thing ever. This is probably not appropriate, and I apologize in advance, but I have the word vomit, and I have to tell you. Sometimes, handsome husband helps me put the shipping labels on your packages, and he swore that your package, in my handwriting, said pretty pan, pretty panties. So now every time he helps me with your packages, he says, I know who this is, Purdy Panties. I'm sorry. This is my handwriting's fault. It has nothing to do with you or your name. It was solely my fault. I'm sorry. But now it's like this little inside joke between me and handsome husband. You're unfortunately, fortunately, Purdy Panties in this household. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but... We love you. It's just a funny, funny little thing. Funny little thing. Funny little thing. Trina Hansen. Hello, Jackie Larkin. Hello, Don Domain. Hello, Don Domain. And Amber Amy. Guys, Amy has a sale this Thursday. You're not going to want to miss it. Amy, we put the link for your sale in the chat. I've seen some of the stuff she's bringing. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Elizabeth Gwinnett. Hello, dear. Thank you for being here. Mayberry Caboodles. Hello. I used to have a caboodle. Just love it. Never to be forgotten. You will never, ever be forgotten. Not in this household. Not in this household, pretty panties. Never. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Colleen. Hello, angel girl. It's good to see you in the chat. How are you, dear? Barb. I get to see you soon, too. Well, it's not very soon, but it's somewhat soon. It's sooner than September. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Crescent Moon. Hello, Karen Gillette. Hello, Karen. 
Karen Gillette, how are you doing? Simply shenanigans. I sounded sad? Me? Was I sad? I'm sorry. I'll try not to sound sad. I don't mean to. I'm sorry. Tammy Bennett, hello, hello. Happy to see you today. Well, your name, your name. Happy to see your name in your green tea. Your green tea. Catherine's gonna be there. That's gonna be so fun. Catherine, the first time I met you, I didn't know you. Now I know you so I can like really get to be with you. That's exciting. It's perfect, Roberta says. Oh, good. Yeah, it's just it's just enough weird for me, you know. Uh, da -da. Sandra Bowers, hello, hello. How are you doing tonight? And I think, oh, Christina Nix. Hello, Christina Nix and Donna. Hello, Donna. Hello. How was y'all's week? Mine was good, except for, I'm going to do a little rant because you guys are my friends. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I am. We're here now. No takesies, backsies. My tiny human had her seventh birthday, okay? Seventh birthday. And I rented out this big old party room. Got too many pizzas, so many cupcakes, arcade points, all these things. Do you know that I invited over 48 children to her party? Guess how many showed up? Now here's the thing, Linda's. I know we're all busy and everything like that, but I had a full blown mama meltdown. I was getting ready to prance into every and anybody's house and give them the spiel. I was so mad. I was so mad. She was so sad. That was the worst part. That was the worst part because she just couldn't understand. You know, when you're seven, you take everything personally. So she just thought that the kids didn't like her. So, I'm having a PTA meeting. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Now, I'm sure it was just, it was a Saturday, so like I'm sure a lot of people had a lot to do, but that upset me. And for her, it upset me for her. You know what I mean? I was okay. Well, no, I wasn't okay, because I was upset for her. But we're still recovering from that, because um, that was my least favorite, other than when she's sick, mommy moment I've ever had. So that was not fun. That was not fun at all. But we will recover. Moving right along. <laughs> Moving right along. I've got some fun stuff tonight. Tonight's sale is very, very heavy me. It's very heavy on me. So, with, what that means is it's a lot of things I like. Okay? So, if you like what I like, you might like tonight's sale. If you don't like what I like, you probably won't in my, my advanced apologies. But I think I brought a lot of really, really fun stuff tonight. I know, Sharon. I just wanted to kick everybody's butt. My mother said that it's a southern thing. That people don't show up to things like that. I don't know. I guess I'm moving up north. Because <laughs> I, I, my little mama heart couldn't take it. But anyways, I brought a lot of really fun stuff tonight. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, and I'm not doing this just to plug my Instagram, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, oh, you don't have to do that, guys. I shouldn't have said anything. I wasn't thinking, but yes, Jackie, it was awful. Don't move away. I am, Rachel. I'm moving up north. Throw my kid a birthday party. No, I'm just kidding. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of um, this estate sale that I went to. It was amazing. Okay, so. Yeah, Karen, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> um. So the estate sale I went to this weekend, it was amazing. Me and Rachel went together. And what it is, it's this local little landmark store. Her birthday was sweet as can be, B-E-E. -E. That was the birthday theme. 
but it was this local store and the woman's had it since I think the 50s maybe a little later and but she never like when she restocked she never took the old stuff out she just kept adding to it and it was kind of known as this like hoarder store um, but everybody loved it but then unfortunately she passed away seven years ago and the doors have been shut ever since but her family finally got it out of probate and they opened the doors for just the weekend so like I said if you um, haven't seen, seen it on my Instagram Instagram go look at it because it was such a good time digging and oh thank you simply shenanigans you don't need to do that but thank you um, it was such a fun weekend. So a lot of the stuff, I went all three days. I went Friday, I went Saturday, and I went Sunday. I went all three days and left with bags and bags full of things all three days. Cause it was like a bunch of new old stock from the eighties to the early, like to the two thousands. So it was so, so, so much fun. So I have a lot of stuff from that sale. I think the three of us were kind of shopping together, spent a total of around a thousand dollars. Absolutely. We sure did. We sure did, and it was just so much fun. Uh, but like I said, I have a lot of stuff from that sale, or from that sale on this tonight sale. You guys know how it is. I haven't talked to people all week. This is my first time. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, Amy, you would have. Hi. Hi, Wordsmith. Good to see you guys. Um, so for those of you that don't know, Redheaded Kitty Cat in the chat, has so graciously offered and agreed to be our moderator. I can't thank her enough. Uh, I try to get her thank you gift, a thank you gift every sale for giving her time to us every Tuesday night. So Redheaded Kitty Cat, I don't know how you're gonna feel about this gift, but I got these at that sale that I was telling you about and I love them. I kind of collect these. And so I picked some, I mean, I picked up a bunch, but these are for you. They are vintage made in Japan, blo like party, speaking of a party, I think that's maybe why I, I was thinking about it because these are sitting next to me, but they are made in Japan, vintage party blowers. And I just love these like in little vases or um, I also like to put, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy and that's fine. I also like to put ornament hangers on these and hang them on my Christmas trees, uh, like a, vintage blower Christmas tree. I just think they're fun. They're fun for every holiday, really. They go in with holiday decor because they're just fun. They're just fun, okay? So Redheaded Kitty Cat, these are for you. I got six for you. And then we have two giveaways tonight. You do have to purchase in order to be in the giveaways tonight. Uh, one of them I've had did not come from the store. It is this beautiful bracelet. Now, I don't know much about it. It does have some really pretty engraving on it, and I don't know what these stones are. Um, the hand is not included, but the bracelet is one of the giveaways. It is absolutely gorgeous. I wish that I knew more about it, but I just don't. And I love the different shapes from the square cut to the oval no i gotta keep my hand dusty you can't have my hand the giveaway is this beautiful bracelet and then the other giveaway is one of the things i picked up at jane's you're gonna hear me talk a lot about that tonight jane's it is this new old stock as was everything in her store um new old stock probably 1950s rhinestone necklace now it does have some oxidation on it um, and things like that, but I still think it's a really pretty display piece, and I just love that it was new old stock. So, it's the necklace and the earrings in the original box. So, that was picked up at Jane's. Super, super pretty. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and coming back every Tuesday. It means so much to me. I appreciate y'all like crazy. Um, if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Ariana. I buy and resell vintage and antiques. I have a live sale right here on the channel every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. I, and this is where we go into the business stuff. I use PayPal for invoicing and pirate ship for shipping. If you don't have a PayPal account, that is totally fine. You can always check out as a guest with any credit or debit card. I'm telling you, redheaded kitty cat, she was amazing. Um, 
When I ship from the Bodunks of Georgia, y'all, shipping is not included in the cost of your item. It just depends on where you live and how big your box is. I don't charge any additional handling fees. I only charge exactly what it costs to get you your items. I don't charge for the wrapping or the boxes or anything like that. That is totally on me. Um, yeah, no just in cases on this channel. If you don't know what just in cases are, then perfect. If you do um, and you forget that we don't use them on this channel, I have a couple fail safe set in place. If you accidentally do use a just in case, you can either make your just in case a straight bid or you can gracefully bow down and hand it to the previous highest bidder. It is totally up to you. Um, I just like to have that little piece in there for the just in cases. <laughs> just in case you use a just in case. You see what I'm saying? No just in case or Amy will arm wrestle you. Someone might use a just in case just so they can hold hands with Amy. That's what I would do. My mom was born in Jessup. Where's Jessup? Is that in Georgia, I'm assuming? Jessup, Georgia? I do too, Dusty. And I was going to say, I apologize that you guys are stuck with just me again. I know it's so much more fun with mom and Ash R, but unfortunately it's just me. <laughs> it's just me. I'm sorry. Um, if you haven't purchased from me before and you do want to purchase tonight or you find something, you know, that you want to purchase, which is what I just said. I'm going to need for you to send me an email to the email in the description box below. I'm just going to need your real name, your YouTube name, your physical home address, and your PayPal email. I usually send out invoices no later than Friday, but as most of you who have purchased from me before know, uh, more than likely, likely you will get them on Wednesday, Thursday at the latest, but I like to say Friday just in case. Uh, if you could please, please. Pay your invoices within 48 hours. It really helps because then I can just make one trip to the post office and I don't get discombobulated. So I'd really appreciate that. And I think that's it. Did I forget anything? <laughs> Ariana, just you go always perfectly perfect. UGP. I don't know what that is. Is. Ariana, just you is always perfectly perfect. That's so sweet. Thank you, Karen. Your phone. It's okay. It's okay. Also, thank you, Saturn girl. I draw my numbers from this withering cottage box. It was a gift from Ash Ashar. Y'all don't start crying. I know we all miss her, but we can remember her with this box. I know I love my mom too, but unfortunately, again, it's just me today just me but i the good news is i think i brought some really fun stuff tonight i think um i draw my numbers out of here they're all labeled on the pieces of paper in front of me and that is also how i do my giveaways at the end of the night by drawing these numbers it's just how i like to do it i like to let the universe decide and the universe says we're going to start with number 21 which is oh this is cute this is a nice subtle start i feel this is a nice little start. Okay, our first item of the evening is going to start off at $14, please, redheaded kitty cat. And I have got this adorable metal bunny basket. Um, I don't know how old it is, but I honestly don't think it's too new. I know they make kind of newer things like this, but I can see the wear and the patina on the metal. But it is just this really sweet kind of primitive metal uh, twisted bunny basket. It does stand up really well all on its own. Um, and then inside I have three alabaster. It was sprocket wordsmith. Ariana sprocket. Don't you know? I will not buy more stone eggs. I will not buy more stone eggs. It does come with three stone eggs. So the first one is this guy. This one looks like, what are those eggs that have baby chicks in them that people eat? Boduck, Boduck, you know what I'm talking about? That's what this one looks like. And then we have this one that is a purple and kind of yellow. It has part of its sticker on it. 
And then this one is really nifty if I do say so myself. So this one has these like striations in them. I can't say that word, striations. But it also has a flat um, spot on the back so you can keep it up like that or display it flat. And I don't see that a lot, more like a paperweight than a alabaster egg. And I did, I was playing around earlier and this egg right here kind of glows blue do you see this one these two like not so much but these two yeah a little bit this one especially i thought that was peculiar purple blue i don't know but you're getting three and then you're also getting this really sweet little vintage hanky on the bottom and it's got this beautiful um embroidered butterfly on the corner and that just goes in the bottom of the bunny basket here's the bunny basket so you got the bunny basket, the hanky, the purpley egg, the flat ended egg, and then the bow duck, boo duck, bow duck egg. So all three eggs and the bunny basket. But we are gonna start the countdown on this. Thank you guys so much. I see Donna, Donna in at 25. So 15, 14, 13, 12, be presentable, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Hi, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Laza. Now, you guys know, if you're not new here, if you've been here a minute, I never, ever, ever, ever wear my hair down. I'm trying it. So if you see me messing with my hair a lot, it's not because I'm full of myself. It's because I never wear my hair down and it aggravates me. So don't think like, she, tell her to quit flipping her hair. I, I already know. I already know. It's just distracting. It's distracting. And I see... Now on my end, I see Melissa Black as the first 40. So Melissa Black, thank you so much, dear. Now Melissa, Melissa, does your first name have one L in there? And if it does, I've been spelling it wrong on your packages, I think this entire time. My apologies, I will fix that. Congratulations, you're going in for the giveaway. If you guys missed the giveaways, really quickly, these are the two giveaways if you purchased tonight. It is a new old stock um, jewelry set from Jane's, okay? This is from Jane's. And a vintage bracelet. And I don't know what those stones are. But it is beautiful. Thank you so much, Melissa. All right, what's next? 23 all right this next item is that was a horrible sound and i'm so sorry this is actually from jane's too and this is does have some wear um i don't think this was new old stock i think it's just something she had in there this is gonna start at 12 dollars. they look like sunstones i'll have to look that up this is a beautiful hand-painted tile that was then turned into either a trivet or a wall hanging. So I'm thinking wall hanging, but it's got this, uh, by the way, I thought that this was wrought iron like my whole life up until about last year. It's wrought iron, W-R-O-U-G-H-T, wrought iron. So it's got this wrought iron frame around it and it's made specifically for this tile now this is just a beautiful job um as far as hand painting goes it is signed and it's signed j and then period n-a-g-a-s-a-k-i now i did try to put that in the googler and i think that that's a place that might be this scenery um exactly redheaded kitty cat it might be this place that they're at, um, but it, there is the signature or the place in the corner. 
And then the tile on the back is marked as well, uh, FM, and then Made in Japan. So FM right there in the center, and then Made in Japan here on the bottom, and then it would hang like this. So you put your nail on your wall, and then it hangs like that. I just thought it was a really unique piece. Um, I love art, like, cause it's a one of a kind type of thing, which is right up my alley. It's about seven by seven. And I just love the colors in it. Love the colors. Thank you so much, Laza. We are gonna start the countdown on this. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fit end. We started off with some pretty safe items. There's some doozies in here and we're, we've avoided them so far. We've avoided them so far. Maybe the universe didn't want me to scare y'all off early. Laza, it's yours. Thank you so much, dear. And you are going into the giveaway. Let's see what's next. All right. I love this piece. I actually have sold a couple of these, but different. So what this is, is it's a um, antique fairy soap ad. Now they do make reproductions of these. You can get them on Etsy, but this is the OG. This is an original antique fairy soap ad. This is gonna start at $14. And like I said, you can buy the reproductions of these, but this is an original. So this is a framed fairy soap ad. So I did put the ad itself into this gorgeous gold vintage filig filigree etched frame. And it is for fairy soap. And y'all know I love fairy soap. So it's this little girl with this big pink ribbon around her. And then in the bottom corners, we have a pink fairy and a yellow fairy that are tying ribbons around the bar of fairy soap. And the frame does have the two little feet on it. It is felted on the back. And then on the back of this advertisement is another fairy advertisement. So it is double-sided, but the one on the back is not colored like this one. It's more of like a, a green. And the frame itself is seven by five. Seven by five. I guess I could show you guys the back. It's not very hard to take out. Let me show you that. This is the back, and it's Goldilocks. It says, Goldilocks. Goldilocks has lovely hair, just like silken floss. Never was a girl more fair when her curls do toss. Long and silky, soft and fine, and so very thick. Sure, we think the lovely shine is some fairy trick. And then keep going, and then it says, Wash with fairy soap. That's the back of it. And then there's the front. And we are going to put this back in the frame. Hi, Cindy. Put her back in her frame. And I currently see Lynn Comble in at 18. MJ, did you get my email? Did you get my email, MJ? So we are going to start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Do you want to see it now, MJ, or do you want to be surprised? Y'all, I found MJ the most perfect gift this weekend. I was so excited. I was so excited. Oh, thank you so much. Typical crazing. That is so nice. Rustic farmhouse. You got it. Do y'all want to see? 
You guys tell me, should we surprise MJ with her gift? And I should just send it to her wrapped? Or should we show it to her now? Thank you so much. And look, you guys are going to see why I had to get it for MJ. I'm not trying to show favoritism. It's just when you see it, you're going to be like, yeah, of course you had to get that for her. Rachel's the only one so far that says surprise. It's good to see you, Vintage Show and Tell. Okay, let me grab it. Let me grab it. Ow. All right, MJ. I got this for you at Jane's this weekend. I couldn't believe it when I found it. I'm pretty sure that it's for Michael Jackson, but I just don't care. It's for MJ, it's for my MJ. Look at this bracelet. It's a glove, but not like a white tacky glove, but like a vintage gold glove. And it says MJ on it. How could I not get that for you? Again, I'm pretty sure it stands for Michael Jackson, maybe, but I don't care. It's it's for RMJ. How funny. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to buy that for her. Isn't it fun? MJ Bear. So that is for you, MJ. I'm going to go put it back so I don't... I have you a, a post-it on it so I don't forget it. And if I put it on my table, I think then I'll forget it. So that's for you. I know, I was like, what are the odds? I had to, Cindy, I had to. Number 12. Oh wow, we're going off for a bang. We're going off on a bang, I guess. Okay, this might be, I don't know if I've ever brought something with this high of a starting price on it before. I don't think I have. Um, if there's no interest, I totally understand. I'm still, okay, I, I don't usually like to say like for what things go for, but sometimes I just feel like I have to tell you to make myself feel better, if that makes sense. So this next piece ranges anywhere from like 275 to like 425, but I'm starting it at 100. But again, if, if there's no interest, I totally understand but it's just amazing. It's amazing. So starting at $100, which is crazy to say, because I really try not to start things at that price. I have this amazing. Now, here's the thing. I have the hardest time naming that. Like, say I can't even say it. It's where Terpeshore dwells by Boris Major. And this is a 19, early 1900s lithograph, um, lithograph in its original frame. So it is absolutely pristine. The frame is in amazing, amazing condition. Beautiful. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> it's an absolutely beautiful condition. The print itself is very clean. Um, I don't see like any water damage or discoloring to the print. The print is, I should have measured this before. I told you it's my first day. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 by 11-ish. 16 by 11. And the coloring and the subject matter is amazing. And again, the artist is Boris Major. And then on the back, it even has the name of the print on it right there where Terpeshore dwells and then the artist Boris Boris Major um and then I think back whenever this was made somebody was originally charging 50 for it but oh my goodness this is probably my favorite lithograph I've ever found and I just absolutely love the colors for spring and the shadow work on it is amazing. The pointed toes, the little shadowed skirts. I think it's amazing. And then we have, of course, the frame. 
Well, it appears to be the original frame, and if it is, then this is like probably 1920s or so. There's the back but just absolutely beautiful. I wanted to bring it to you guys first before I put it online. Um, it's just stunning. It's stunning. I don't see any interest, but I will go ahead and count it down just in case someone wants to snag it for the starting price before the countdown. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, one. Bid in. No problem. Oh, Dusty. <laughs> Dusty couldn't refrain. You got it, Dusty. Congratulations. This is such an amazing piece. Congratulations. Ooh. Thank you so much. Moose! The moose is loose. What did you do, Dusty? But honestly, I know it sounds crazy at 105, but that's still a really good deal. I promise, I promise, I promise. I know, I'm sorry, Dusty. But hey, maybe you'll get the giveaway. I mean, they're not nearly as good as your print, but... <gasps> Dusty! That didn't take long at all. It's time for the withering, withering, withering. Hoard, 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 hoard. Pick, 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 pick. Bye, bye. Dusty, Dusty, Dusty. Dusty. Do you want to play? Dusty's mom, can Dusty come out and play? What you got for me tonight, Dusty? I'm ready. You always like to be a little tricky. I'm watching you. So if you guys are new, um, this is the part of the evening where I draw number 28 and or 27, or no, 29. And the previous person that purchased gets to tell me a style or item they want me to go scour my withering hoard for. And then I bring it back and offer it to the friends. It just helps get me out of my comfort zone and, um, Maybe it makes me grab something that maybe I want it or put together something that maybe I want it. And I just think it's really fun. It's kind of interactive. And yeah, I just love this part of Tuesday nights. I just love this part of Tuesday nights. It's one of my favorite parts. But Dusty can be kind of tricky, so. Victorian oddity or weirdo. Victorian oddity or weirdo. How weird are we talking? You know I can get pretty, you know I can get pretty weird. But it has to be Victorian weird or weirdo. I'm trying to think before, I, I don't like to be off screen too terribly long. Really weird? Oh gosh, every time I do really weird, things go really weird. You know? <laughs> All right, let me see what I have. And then we'll reconvene. I have one thing, like, weird, weird, or like weird, cool? Tis the question. Hmm. Or weirdo. Gosh, I'm like frozen. This never happens to me. I have stage fright. <sighs> okay, I think I think I'll know what I think I know what I'll do. I think I know what I will do. Now, this is, <laughs> this is Victorian to kind of modern. 
Hmm, I wouldn't say it's weird. Now I've actually offered this up for sale before, but the per person who won it didn't end up paying, unfortunately. That doesn't happen often, but it does unfortunately happen sometimes in this business. So you've seen this before, but maybe now's your chance, I don't know. But this is gonna start, oh gosh, this was a personal piece. We're gonna start this at 50, if there's any interest. So starting at $50, I've shown this before, but like I said, the person did not follow through with the purchase. Um, I picked this up at a antique show in a field a while back, um, and it's it was part of my personal collection. And this is the lifespan, yes, of this woman. Now, I don't know if her name is any on any of the back of the pictures. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, yes. This picture for Oh gosh, what is her name? This picture for o Olis? It just says mother. Olis mother on the back about 16 okay anyway sorry getting back getting back to this so this is her lifespan okay so it starts off with a victorian tintype hidden mother there's her arm no this is separate here's her arm so this was her i think the back said when she was about four years old this was her at 16 years old this was her in her probably 40s, okay? And then we have her here, here, and then this picture right here, which I've covered up with my business card, is a post-mortem of her um, in her casket. Now, I know that's not, that's not everybody's thing, um, but to me, this is amazing that all of her pictures have stayed together. And not only can you see her lifespan, but you can also see the progression of photography. So it starts on a tintype and then it ends on a Polaroid. And so the first picture is obviously from the early 1900s. And then this one, or no, it could be even earlier because this is May 1960. So if she passed away, in 1960 and she was approximately 90 or 80 um in this picture Let's see 60 this probably was then like 1874 ish 1870s um and then 1890s early 1900s and then so on and so forth but I just think that that's an amazing collection. Now this does have a crack to the glass. I don't mind that because I think it adds to like the tragic beauty of this. But of course you can take them out and display them in a different way if you want to. But yeah, I am covering this picture up for respect. But if you become her new um, safekeeper, then you can decide what to do with this final picture. But we are going to start the countdown on this. I see pretty pansies in at 50. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. I love this picture of her. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bit end. I love this piece. I will be sad to see it go, but I will be happy that it's got a new safekeeper. Gatekeeper, safekeeper. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Purdy, you got it. Thank you so much. And thank you, Dusty. That is just such a cool piece. I've never seen something like that. Like all like that chuckle what's dusty doing what's dusty doing all right number thank you so much number 19 this is from james and this is just going to start off at ten dollars 
if I can find it. What is it? Are the haunted pictures playing tricks on me? I am so confused. Hang on. Ah, here it is. So starting at $10, this is from Jane's. And this is just, it's 14 karat HGE, which is basically 14 karat plated. And it's styled by Smart. And it is this vintage new old stock um, gold plated jewelry set. It is the earrings and this little tiny gold four leaf clover with a cubic zirconia in the center. I thought, even, I mean, it's totally wearable, but I thought just for a St. Patrick's Day display with that sweet, sweet little clover. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it's certainly a four leaf clover. And I just liked that it was new old stock. Um, and again, for St. Patrick's Day, I just thought it was really sweet. Or if you have a St. Patrick's Day postcard in your collection, you can kind of just dangle this from that. Now the little cardboard has come separated from the lid of the box, but I could easily put a little dab of glue on there for you. Um, there, I don't see any issues with it. Here is the back of the necklace, still on its little card. I don't know exactly how long the chain is, like I said, I just thought it was really, really sweet for a St. Patrick's Day display. But it's starting at $10, and it is styled by Smart 14 Karat HGE. And we are going to start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, and one. Bid end. I don't see four leaf clovers jewelry that much, so I thought it was so sweet. Robin, hello Robin. Robin Watson, you got it. Robin Watson. Thank you, Miss Rot Rotson. I mixed your first name and your last name together. You're going in for the giveaway. Thank you. Easter eggnog? I'm going to have to try some of that, I think. <gasps> Amy, are you here? Enamor Amy, are you here? <clears throat> I was telling Amy about this earlier. Okay, just checking. <clears throat> I have a feeling a lot of you are going to tune tune off after this. Because a lot of you are going to think, what the heck is wrong with me? And if I'm being honest with you, I don't know. I don't know what goes on in my head. But these are some of my favorite things to create lately. Um, I know they're going to take a, a special person to appreciate them. <laughs> and I will also tell you that my husband is the nicest man alive. And he is so incredibly supportive of me. But I will also tell you, when he saw this after I made it, he said, babe, you know I love you. And you know I love your things. He said, but who who do you think is going to buy that? And I said, someone with excellent taste, of course. <clears throat> now, if this doesn't sell, it's fine because I love it. It came out of my brain, okay? But it's going to start at $12. I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm kind of embarrassed. So one of my favorite things is to take heads of one thing and bodies from another and put them together like a mad scientist. <laughs> but mostly I do it when I find things with no heads and no bodies and then I put them together. I try not to decapitate things, but this is a very special friend. Um, his name is Goose Dog. <laughs> And without further ado, this is Mr. Goose Dog, okay? So he has a gorgeous, is it a goose or a swan? 
I'm unsure. He has this gorgeous head. And I did give him vintage rhinestone eyes. So there is that. But as we move on down, Mr. Goose Man has a dog body, which then in turn makes him look more like a dinosaur. Now, <clears throat> I got this with no body and I got this with no head. And they just, they just said that they needed to live together, okay? Now, I will tell you, when I put this head on this body, it was top heavy, right? So it would fall over. So I cut out the bottom and filled him with vintage marbles so that he sits still fine now. And then on the bottom, <laughs> I took this vintage paper in cardboard and gave him a new base. And then I also took this vintage ribbon and this vintage bow and put that on there. And then I also used vintage pipe cleaners um, to seal his his new neck body situation. He's very sturdy, you know, he's not going anywhere. He does have a flocked um, dog body, but this really fun vintage early plastic head with, we can't forget that I added rhinestone eyes cause that was just necessary. Christina Nix, I just appreciate you more than you will ever know. And although I love my husband very, very much, I can't wait to tell him that there is somebody out there like me that likes these. Let's not forget, while I'm holding him up, this is not for sale. This is mine. Oh gosh, here's another example of one of my creations. They're just super fun when you cluster them, right? <laughs> I'm gonna be on the news tomorrow. So I'm gonna be like, there's this crazy girl that sells her stuff on YouTube where she puts heads on things that don't belong. And you know what? They'd be right. But I think it's cute, okay? Yeah, yeah, Mars attack. But goose dog attack, dinosaur. All right. Anyways, we're, we're gonna start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 15, Wait, what? 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. You guys are in Roberta. 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 No, ma'am. On the goose dogosaur? <gasps> Roberta. Oh my goodness, Roberta. Well, I really, really appreciate you. That is true, Amy. No one on earth will have this. And it's all made out of vintage components, okay? No, this is cool. Just imagine me describing it. Ash, oh, we wish you were here describing it. Oh my gosh, Roberta, I'm, thank you. I don't know what this animal would say. It'd be more like a honking bark, but it would say that to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Are you guys like over my, my, I need to probably stop, but I just can't help it. When I'm out, I'm like, can I put that head on that body? When people ask, what is it you can say is from a famous friend artist? That's sweet, but you're fibbing. Yeah, Ashar, what disclaimers would you give? Questions. Questions. All right, this next item is going to start off at $14. And it is a beautiful LG Wright three-face. I'm going to take this off so you, can, so you can see this better. An LG Wright glass three-face. I think, I think this is technically a toothpick holder, but I think it makes a better egg cup. It also could be a salt. Um, it does have the three faces. It is frosted glass. It is the teeniest, tiniest little vessel. It does have the W on the bottom for LG, right? There are no chips or cracks on it or scuffs. 
the little vessel is one and three fourths inches. Very detailed. You can see the texture in her hair, in her eyes, her nose and mouth, and it is three sided. And then it is coming with this yellowy, orangey, ready marble or alabaster egg. And again, I was playing around with my black light. And this one, this one really glows, which was surprising to me. I didn't even know these eggs could glow. But do you see the blue? You can see it really good there. It glows blue. How fascinating. Did you guys know these could glow? I mean, and on this side it's green. You can see all the color. I don't know what in here makes it glow. Sign her. Oh, I gotta make a note. Sign. Sign her. I don't know what makes these glow. I didn't know they could, but they do. It does. And you're getting the beautiful little toothpick holder from 1930s, Rachel says. <laughs> but we are gonna start the countdown. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Hey, hey, what's a sea monster's favorite food? Fish and ships. Huh? Hmm? Get it? Get it? Fish and ships. Hi, Aaron. What a day, Rose. Thank you so much, dear. What a day, Rose. Four, 15. Thank you so much, what a day. What a day. Why did the poor dog chase his tail? Because he was trying to make ends meet. Oh, I get it. Took me a minute. You're going in for the giveaway, what a day. There's one thing I really kind of want to get draw, but I don't know when I will. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. This one is a little weird, but I like it. I like it. It's a little different. And because I don't really know what you guys are going to think of these, I don't. I'm going to start them off at $12 choice. And I got these, I bet you can't guess, at Jane's, at Jane's. And I just couldn't pass them up. I'm gonna try not to take too long on these, um, but there's, there's a lot to go through. So you're getting choice. The first choice is this. So she originally, these, this is how she sold them. Buy, you would buy one, but I just bought the whole display and I have two of these. So you're getting every pin that you see on this sheet. So here's the back. You can see they're all pins. So these on a hat, on a curtain, on a leather jacket, on a denim jacket, they could be really fun. There's so many just different ones. Um, it would take forever to go through. Now I will tell you this one right here is missing a pearl. Um, but there's just so many that... I didn't really go through for condition, but like you have a vintage Santa, you have a little chicken and egg, you've got I love you passionately, you've got two felted hearts, you've got a precious moment, you've got two carriage wagons, you have got US bear lines, so these are all new old stock pins. This one says, I believe in Cupid. And they're just on this cardboard backing and I put them in a cellophane 
so that it would be easier to show and ship. Look at this, it's like a little pewter surfer right there. Love is a two-way tweet. And this one says Maine. Firemen get not on the spot. Huh? I don't get it. Season's greetings. So there's probably about 60 pins on here or so. And then the second choice is very similar, but different. I like this one. It says, work sucks. <laughs> You've got a little clover. Uh, Montreal. You got some Pac-Man monsters. Um, 10 pounds. 10 pounds. I believe in Cupid. We got another I believe in Cupid. We've got Brenda. Brenda. A little wood stove. Another uh, no, what are you, a skier? You got a skier, a rose, some gears, a Christmas tree, two little bunnies kissing right there. But a whole sheet of new old stock pins. So this is the second choice. There's the number two in the corner and the first one. And we are gonna start the countdown. I see Pam in at 12, thank you so much. So 15, oh, and here's the back of the second one. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, sorry for the noise, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Bid end. Happy Valentine's Day with the little skunk. You see the little skunk? Ooh, who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? And first choice goes to Smalls for 18. Thank you so much, Smalls. Which one or ones can I get for you? So this is number two with the Skunk Valentine's Day. Oh, both, you got it. Thank you so very much, Smalls. These were really, really fun. And I just don't think I'll ever grab any like him. <laughs> I just don't see full sheets of vintage pins. Thank you so much, Smalls. Thank you, thank you. I really want to pick that one over there. Come on, universe. Oh my gosh, these are so funny, but they're so pretty too. These are gonna start at $14. Um, I did not get these at Jane's. I got these at an estate sale. And now I've seen these before, but not in this style. I think these are older. I just think that they are really, really well done. <laughs> Y'all don't be mad at me, okay? I can't help what I like. <clears throat> we have a pair of vintage brass nutcrackers. And they have some beautiful detailing on the side. They are very heavy brass and very, what's the word? Realistic. Sometimes, if I've seen these before, they're kind of clunky and kind of poorly done. These legs are very feminine. And I love, love, love the patina on them. Um, the wear is just delicious to me. You can't replicate that. I definitely do think that these are a bit older and they are nutcrackers. So you, and then, and then, da da. You know what I mean? That kind of thing, that kind of thing. But I love the form of them. I feel bad showing you the inside, so I'm not going to, but I love her little feet. They are very delicate. And I love this detailing on the side. I think they're so, so fun. I love these a lot. Hard, hard, hard to get rid of. 
I'm not going to lie to you. These are right up my alley. Right up my alley. Hey, welcome back. We're just show and tell. But we are going to start the countdown on these. I currently see Melissa Black in at 17. So we're going to count these down for you. At Oh, I should tell you how tall they are. They're just over four and a half inches. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Now, I will tell you my favorite things to pick up are figural things. Things that look like something they're not supposed to or things with faces. I love anything with a face on it. Not that this has a face on it, but this is figural still. And I love figural. Dusty! Dusty, I thought you were going to be good. Dusty Moose. Thank you so much, dear. They are yours for 27. Thank you so much. I really, really like those. I really, really do. Like I said, I know you're good. You're good. I brought a lot of things I liked tonight, so I'm sorry. It's a very me sale. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I pulled the one I was looking the most forward to. I have no idea what I want to start this at. Not a clue. I didn't think that far ahead. I just knew that I love this beyond belief. The question is, what would a reasonable person pay for this? I'm not a reasonable person, which is why I have it. Um, oh my goodness. I'm gonna start this at $30. If I'm gonna end up on the news tomorrow, let's just give them the whole story. Let's just give them a good story, okay? Um, this is gonna take a bit, again, <laughs> what is wrong with me? Uh, you guys don't have to tell me that there's something wrong with me, I know it, okay? This is gonna take a very special family and you might be that family for it. I, I can't tell you. <laughs> All right, let's just get into it. Let's just do it. So starting at $30. <clears throat> do you? Do you, Heidi? Do you love what I bring? Okay, thanks. So, here we have ginormous I mean huge bigger than my head jar of babies not Cheetos babies now I will tell you I got these babies from Jane's they're all in there okay but some of them some of them may be missing an arm or leg okay most of them are complete I'm gonna take the bow off for a minute most of them are complete. I love Jane too. Um, let's just open this little jar here and we'll whip out, we'll just whip out a baby. So here's a baby. Okay, it looks like this. Early mm, 1960s, 70s, little celluloid babies. And there's probably about, oh, we should have done the how many babies in a jar. Now, I put them in the jar. I did not get them in a jar. But you can see, like, here, this one's missing a leg. I'm sure the leg is in here. They're just very kind of fragile. And there's two kinds in here. There's ones with the clearer arms and legs. And there's ones with more yellow arms and legs. Do you see? It's a mixed slot. It's a mixed slot. But... It is completely full. I mean, there's probably, if I had to guess, 200 babies in here or some. My goal in life was to have a bubble gum machine.
full of babies. But instead I'm offering them to you. Yes, the arms and legs move, look. You could, you could do whatever you wanted to do with all these babies. You're thinking closer to 100? I don't know, if I take a handful, one handful, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight babies. Eight babies in one handful. How many handfuls are in here? I'm unsure. Whoever purchases this, if you want to count these babies and get back to me, let me know. But you're getting a giant jar of babies. A giant jar of babies. They are weird Cheetos. They're babies. And you get this pink bow on it. Yeah. Great for any kitchen. But we're going to start the countdown on this. And I just should tell you. The jar is ten and a half inches by seven. And here's the bottom. How many babies can you count? in just the bottom. I don't know. Well, Heidi, get this, and then your daughter will never say another word. Look, Pam, look what I'm offering. A giant jar of babies. Do you need this, Pam? <laughs> We're gonna start the countdown on this at 15, 14, and there's no gaps. I mean, they're in there. 12, 11, 10, I made it like this. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. It's at 55. Two and one. Bid end. Look, M. Campbell. A big old jar of babies. Jane did. Jane did. And if you guys think this is bad, I have so much more of things like this for later shows. Because I just kind of help myself. If Ashar were here, she'd say, disclaimer, wordsmith, these are not baby Cheetos. Do not eat these. <laughs> Trendolin, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little jealous. Where and how? Would you find another giant jar of babies? Congratulations. Those are, to me, so cool. I was so excited to offer those. Thank you so much, dear. I, yeah, I have a problem. One day I will be Jane and you guys will be shopping my estate sale. And I will be sad. That all my treasures are going. Okay, who likes cruels? Now, supposedly, cruels have become kind of untouchable price-wise. Um, apparently, they are quite collectible these days, and I found a beautiful one at an estate sale. And what I like about it is that it's not been framed, so it's easy to ship and um, you can pick out whatever frame you like for it, but it is beautiful. I'm gonna start this off at $18 if there's interest. It is 19 inches by 13 inches and I think it is so darn good. So up, well, let's start at the bottom. So at the bottom, we, oh, I do want to tell you too, there is a little spot right there. A little age spot. I didn't try to clean it, but that is there. So on the bottom, we've got this beautiful foresty floor. And then you've got a little bunny. And then you go over here and you've got a little sheep. Is that a sheep? I think it's a sheep. A little sheep. And then it's hard to show you and also look in the camera. Um, then we have a squirrel and over here we have an owl and a dragonfly and then at the top we have acorns and berries and flowers and birds and a butterfly and other than this little spot right here it is in very very good condition 
um, very easy to frame. It has been taped off on the edges except for on this edge to keep it from fraying, which is also good. And I just have to say how cute they did on this sheep. Look at how they, how they knotted the thread on the little sheep. It is adorable. And I also really, really, really like the bunny. And I also really, really like the owl. But do you see the difference between like the owl and the sheep? You see the difference in the texture? I just think it's so pretty. Really, really nice. And yeah, apparently cruels have a uh, plummet, pl not plummeted. What's the opposite of plummeted? Plamited. I don't know. But this is a beautiful curl. But we are going to start the countdown. I currently see Samantha in at 27. Thank you so much, Samantha. So 15, 14, 13 French knots. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. I'm sorry, Rachel. <laughs> That's terrible. Skyrocketed. There we go. Hello, Mayberry. Hi, Lori. I know. Framed, it would be amazing. Seems I need to stage my baby dolls in a non-normal way. I do both. My dolls are staged perfectly normal and then completely abnormal. You do whatever makes you happy, Heidi. That is going to go to Mayberry. I miss Mayberry, sitting on the porch, drinking ice cold cherry coke. Everything is black and white. Da -dum, da -dum. For 34. Thank you so much, Mayberry. I know, Cindy, that's my goal, but I want to find a pink gumball machine. Me too. Me too. Definitely me. All right, this next piece is really, really unique. This is one of those ones where I've had it for a really long time, but I just couldn't find anything like it in my Googler. So I've just kind of hoarded it, too scared to, you know, start it too low or start it too high. But I've had it long enough to where I just need the confidence to jump over. So I'm gonna start this at $25. I know it's something a little different than I normally bring, but I thought it was so cool. So starting at $25, we have got this. Well, what is it do you say? This is so unique. Okay, where to start? So it's wooden, obviously. It's got marquetry inlay all the way down the center all the way down the front and then it turns into a clock and then on the back it's got the same marquetry inlaid so all these little pieces of wood are put in individually that would have taken somebody forever i mean look at the size of the black pieces that is exceptional work exceptional work and this wood is beautiful. I do believe this was probably handmade. Here's the base. Okay, so it's a clock, right? Right, right, it's a clock. <gasps> you take it out and it is a kaleidoscope. Now I love, love, love kaleidoscopes. I think they are so like hip, what's the word? Not hip, when you're in a trance, hypnotic. They're so hypnotic. So it's a kaleidoscope, all right? So when it's standing up like this, it's a desk clock or a, just a clock. But then when you take it out, I'm gonna try to show you guys. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna do my best. All right. Oh, let me move my hand. There you go. And then you flip it over. And the pattern's always gonna be different.
because it's made with these beads in this liquid. I'm sure it's like purified water with maybe some baby oil in it to keep it fluid. Um, but uh, it's handmade. And kaleidoscope collectors, man, they're no joke. But I could look at these forever. I'm going to show you guys one more time just because I think it's fun. And then I'll count it down. This is your relaxing ASMR. You thought you were coming to a YouTube live vintage sale? No. You're coming to Kaleidoscope ASMR. Enjoy. <laughs> it's just fun. Yeah, and it doubles as a clock, which is cool. Now I don't, I should have said, I don't know if the clock works. I don't know how you set it or reset it. I got no clue. But we are gonna start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, am one bid end i am so sorry linda you want me to make you one when it comes halloween time find an old globe and paint you one i'll do my best lynn you got it congratulations lynn i have never seen another one like this. Now I will tell you the only reason I'm selling this one is because I just picked up another really cool one. So I will have another one, not tonight, but I love, love, love kaleidoscopes. They're so fascinating to me. Can you imagine like the first kaleidoscope, how crazy that must have been? They were like, what is this? What is this magic? I want a duel with a block of cheese. It was extra sharp. I don't get that one. I mean, I get that the cheese was, anyways, never mind. All right, up next I have another needlepoint. I don't know the different terminologies. I'm so sorry, is Smalls leaving? Oh, wait, Smalls is leaving? Oh, bye Smalls. Thank you for coming in. Um, all right, so I have another piece of needlework. Now, I don't know that much about needlework. I'm so sorry, but these pieces just spoke to me. Um, and when things speak to me, I answer, okay? This piece is going to start off at $18. And this one, I don't think it will be hard to ship. I think I could ship it in like a tube pretty affordably. Um, but it is pretty large. This piece is 27 inches by 27 inches. Now, I don't think that you have to frame it that large because the, the art part of it is really in the center. So I'm going to show you. Now, you guys tell me what you think these are. Are these plums, grapes? cotton um what is this to you i was having a hard time but either way i loved the colors and i thought that it was so well done now it does come with its original tag where it says 27 by 27 it was heritage embroidery elsa williams needle craft creation creations hand embroidered in, oh gosh, I'm not even going to say, hand embroidered. It's plums. You guys say plums. Tis plums. But it is so well done. Here's the back. I just thought in like a, um, like a cottagey farmhousey kitchen. Now again, you don't have to frame the full 27 by 27 because as you can see, the plums are just in the center. I think that's just how they would ship these pieces overseas. And then you would cut it to size to upside down. To the project you need, 
Is that better? Is that right side up? This way. This way? That way. <laughs> but either way, beautiful colors. It is starting at $18, and we are going to go ahead and start the countdown on this. Stem up. This way. We're going to go this way, but we are going to start the countdown on it at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. I'm sorry. I don't want to give you upside down plums. I did my best. Sometimes my best just isn't good enough. <laughs> I try, okay? I try. <laughs> I'm no good at knowing the direction of plums. Plums hang down, got it. Thank you, Trina. I'm sorry. I disappointed you all, I know. And... Funny enough, we are going on to our third and final needlepoint of the night. Now, this one is definitely the oldest. It is in the most, dare say, withering of conditions, and therefore, it's my favorite. Um, this one's also going to start at $18, but this one is amazing. I think that this could be an amazing footstool if you could make it into a chair back, or honestly, I would just hang it on the wall because I think it's fantastic. So here's this one. I'm probably gonna be holding it upside down, but look at this gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So this one has a lot more work that has been done to it. It goes all the way out to the far out corners. Now this one does have some age. I will tell you, it does not have a foul smell or anything like that. And I think that the discoloration you're seeing on camera, I think that may be on purpose because if you look at it closer, they look like different color threads. Um, but I can't say for certain, but just so well done. And what I love about it too, is it's got the old like holes where it would have been upholstered to something. I just think that that is amazing. I love that detail. I call it a detail. You might call it a defect, but I call it a detail because I like it. I don't know why, but I do. I like that about it. I just think on the wall, this would look amazing. And you could hang these on the wall and then put your brooches on them or your hat pins on them. Um, just put it right through. But just absolutely beautiful detailing. And this one is 24 by 21. And then here is the back of this one. And I do think it would be an amazing chair or honestly, maybe even like a throw rug in the right place like a little mat, like in front of your sink or, I don't know, it has so much potential. I think it is so beautiful. And look at the little flower detailing along the edges. But yeah, I think you guys are right. I think it'd be of an amazing chair back. But we are gonna start the countdown on this. Thank you, Lori. Cover for footstool or frame, yes. Or frame it, absolutely. So 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. The woman's estate that I purchased these from actually did re um, upholster furniture, so that makes sense. I reckon that's what them blueberry plums was for. They're plums, not blueberries, Ariana. Get it right. Sorry. Sorry. Lori, you got them. Thank you so much. Lori Gerdo. Is this your first purchase from me, Lori? I know I've 
we've met before and talked before, but I don't know if you've purchased from me before. Thank you so very much. You're going in for the giveaway. I really appreciate you. Oh, it's getting toasty in here. <laughs> Or panties, you know? All right, this next item is so sweet. It's a little grouping. And I actually purchased this um, from that same estate sale as the needle points, go figure. This little, this little lot of mine is gonna start at $12. And it is just such a cute little grouping. I'm a big fan of this. So, and I was kind of tempted to keep it. The first item is this vintage hanky. Now this vintage hanky does have some discoloration from age, but I could not leave it. I thought it was so darling. And I being the withering cottage, I don't just have that name by accident. Me personally, I like my things with some age, some discoloration, some minor issues. That's how I like my things. I'm not saying that you're the same, but I couldn't leave it, but it is this darling little hand embroidered hanky, or that might even be cross stitch, but it's so fine and it's just lovely. So that's the first item. The second item is so nice. So this is from a crazy quilt. So this is a crazy quilt pillow or pin cushion. Um, if you have a little doll bed, I think this is so sweet. I love old crazy quilts. And this pillow is in really, really good condition. No tears, no stains. It's super clean. And I just love crazy quilts. So you have the crazy quilt little pillow or pin cushion with the little hanky. And then you also have this crocheted little needle book. I will probably take the needle out before shipping it just in case. So it probably won't come with the needles. Um, but it's just this really sweet little doily needle book. I love the colors of it. And then you're getting this little pair of vintage sewing scissors. Thank you, Janice. I see you in at 12. And then my favorite piece of this lot is the world's teeniest, tiniest little strawberry pin cushion. Now I know this might have been the dangly part of the bigger part, like of the tomato, but I love this. And to see it in person, it's even got the little hand sewn seeds on it. And I just thought that was like the little cherry on top, the little strawberry on top. But you're getting all that you see here, the little hanky, the pillow, the needle book, the strawberry, and the scissors. So we are gonna start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Bid end. I think this is so sweet. Why is a tree like a big dog? Because they both have a lot of bark. <laughs> Tiny human told me a joke today. She came up with herself. She said, mom, what did four say to three? And I said, what? And she said, you plus me equals, and then she said her name, because she just turned seven. And I said, that was a very clever joke, my darling. Laura, you got it. Thank you so very much. I love that little strawberry. Wait till you see it in person, you see the little teeny tiny seeds. It's pretty cute. You're going in for the giveaway, Laura. I did a thing wrong, hang on. I 
got to fix the problem I did. I did a thing wrong. I try not to do that. I messed up. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Fixed it. Sorry. I'm so sorry. They sure do, Heidi. They sure daggum do. All right. Up next. Number three. Okay. This is one of my favorites of the evening. Now, this is kind of sizely, but it's not heavy. But do keep that in mind if you are interested in purchasing. So, this next item is going to start at $45. Please, the lovely redheaded kitty cat. And this is a recent pickup. I actually just got it yesterday. Just got it yesterday. And it is <laughs> this lovely patinaed bird cage. And this one has so many cool things about it. So I do not actually know the age of this piece, but I do think that it is older and not a reproduction. And here is my reasonings behind it. For one, it has a metal bottom. Now I know they reproduce that, but it just seems kind of right. It's got the little pegged feet on the bottom. And then over here, it's got the little drawer that you can slide out to clean your bird droppings and whatnot. And then here on the front, you can see the angel wing detailing and that goes all the way around. So it is on all four sides or mustaches, whichever you prefer. <laughs> and then inside, oh, and then here's the top. The top is wooden and the cage itself is metal. And then in the front here, we have the door. Knock, knock, who's home? You open it up and I did put a little bird and bird nest in there. Of course, they are not real. They can come out and you can fill this with, I've seen these filled with like, um, nope, those are mustaches. Um, I've seen people put like old saucers in here, stack, just like fill it with old, like the saucers for cups and saucers in different colors. You can fill this with anything and it just makes such a fun display. Um, but then too, on the side, I see these bird cages with the glass bird feeders in them, but these are made out of like tin cans. They're made out of like tin cans. And they just spin around, right? So you put your little bird seed in there and then you flip it around and the little bird can eat. Same on this side. Still in very good working order. Hi, Lisa. I'm selling a bird cage with a bird. Um, this measures at 12 inches by 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, about 16, 17 inches or so. And it's this like beautiful pinkish red, per pinkish red. And then here's the bottom. We got a little string. We got a little string. And then of course we've got the mustaches. I saw wings, you guys saw mustaches. But I love bird cages. I like to put lots of things in bird cages. I actually, when I redid my daughter's room, I got a light kit. And I took a birdcage just like this and just ran the light kit in through the door and turned it around and that became her lamp. And that is her lamp in her room on her desk. A birdcage very similar to this. I just opened the little door, put in a light, and bada boom, bada bing. And the drawer works as well. But um, this is starting at 45. I don't see any interest as of yet. Yes, fill it with babies. But we are gonna start the countdown just in case anybody wants to get it for the starting bid at 45. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, and one. Bid end. For a hamburger today. Sure, Karen. You could load them in by the revolving doors. The birds. Ah, fascinating. All right, we are going to set that over there. Put you over here. What's this next? Number 18 is, oh, this one's fun. Okay, so much like the baby jar, Although, this is not a baby jar. This is going to start at $25. And this is a vintage toy jar. And everything in this jar was acquired at Jane's this past weekend. So, she had a ton of new old stock little toys and whatnots and just so many different things so this is full of oh gosh marbles it's full of vintage cake toppers it's got a little bunny um a bunny toy in there it's got a vintage clown toy in there it's got a aquarium fish tons of marbles this orange bead right there here they're actually they were actually vintage halloween beads um, from the 1970s. There are Monopoly toys in here. There's little rattles. There's baby parts. There is a dog over there. There is a frog over there. Hey, Lucinda Walker. There are these old games with the little balls that you have to like, you know, catch them in. There are these old little plastic bubble pipes. There are bouncy balls. There are dice. Here is a little tin litho owl right there. You have little baby rattles. You've got vintage toy kitchen utensils, um, vintage tennis racket toys. You've got like the Cracker Jack little toys in here. You've got little bunnies and baskets oh my gosh do you guys remember these these are the birds that you balance on your finger you know what i'm talking about you got some magic cards you got complete miniature decks of snap playing cards there's another one in there too you've got little plastic animals you have got what haven't i said vintage bells a vintage baby, another vintage baby, vintage hairbrushes, just so many things. This whole thing is full. There's no, um, there's no filler in the center. This is completely full. And this jar is 10 inches by five inches. So pretty big jar, completely full of little toy, um, whatnots, if you will. But we are going to start the countdown on this. I see Debbie Gutierrez and Teddy in at 25. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Monopoly doggy. Oh, and a dustpan. How could I forget the dustpan? How dare I? Debbie, you got it. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate that. Debbie Gutierrez. Four, twenty-five. Thank you, Debbie. You're going in for the giveaway. Number 16. All right, this was a repurpose item from moi. Thank you, Heidi. I have more to do, that's for sure. Um, this is a repurpose item for me. 
honestly, if I'm being honest with you, I don't feel like it's my best work. But I'm going to offer it anyways. It's going to start at $14. And I will tell you, the main piece itself is not vintage, okay? It's modern, but I felt like I could give it that vintage look. Um, I don't know if I succeeded, but you guys can like it or hate it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but here it is. <laughs> so originally, all right, where can I start? So this is metal and this is like a resin. Um, originally this was a bright, bright pink and a bright, bright baby blue. And then the little chick was a bright yellow. You can kind of see in some places where the yellow is shining through. Um, but I distressed it with this metallic spray paint to make it look just a little tiny bit, um, not older. I mean, it's obvious it's not older, but just to give it a little bit of a different look. Um, and then I took some, I had some of this beautiful embroidered Victorian ribbon um, and it is very fragile. It is Victorian. And I gave him a little scarf and then I added a vintage bead right there to his scarf. And then I also gave him a the same ribbon and made him this little Victorian top hat with the textured metallic um, aluminum here. And then in the back, I added it to his little carriage as well, to the top and to the bottom. And then he is also coming with another one of these marble alabastery eggs. Now, I want you to see, when I say it's not my best work, I didn't get the spray in all the places because I was afraid that it would drip. So I did more of a like light dusting um, just to kind of distress it. Not all the way. I just wanted to age it a little bit. But he is really, really cute, and he's on his little, uni well, tricycle, I guess. It does have little pedals there. The wheels and the little basket and everything are metal. And again, it is not, you know, perfect, perfect, but he is definitely, looks a little older now. And then he's coming with the little egg that just fits so perfectly in the back right there. But... We are going to start the countdown on him. I know. And I just love the pink and blue. But we're going to start the countdown on him at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Oh, there's another button here. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one bid end and I did do that to his scarf on purpose to make it look kind of like windblown you know that was on purpose I promise thank you Deborah thank you Cindy thank you Samantha and that is going to what a day Rose thank you so much what a day what a day, Rose. Four. Thirty-one. Thank you so much. You're going in for the giveaway. I appreciate you. Oh, I love, love, love this next item. Thank you, What a Day. This is also a recent purchase. She is going to start off at $14. Now, again... Okay, let's all re remember where we're at. We're at the Withering Cottage, and she's got a very withering dress, but I love that about her. So up next, we have this vintage Made in Japan little penny doll, and I think she's one of my favorites that I have found. I was very, very tempted to keep her. So she has this really sweet silk dress with hand-embroidered roses around, or are they pansies? They're just these sweet little flowers around the bottom of her skirt. She has a lace collar and that same floral trimming around the top of her shirt. She is marked Made in Japan on her back. And then she has this little hair. Do you see how it's molded into the bisque? To hold that single little silk flower. And I love that they gave her an updo. She's just a really unique sculpt. I've not seen her before. 
She's got sweet little kind of folded cupped hands. I love her little face. I don't see any chips or cracks. The only damage is to her little tattered dress, but I really like that about her. She is five and a quarter inches by two and a half inches. And I want you to see the detail on the dress because it's very, very detailed. And she, her arms do move, but her feet, her legs are frozen. Her legs are frozen. And I think this dress may have been handmade. I'm not sure. Give her an original name. This is Quill. Little baby Quill. I know, isn't she so sweet, Cindy? Well, we are gonna start the countdown on Quill here at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. She's just so cute. I can barely stand it. I love her. I couldn't look at her too much or I would have kept her. So we didn't make eye contact. Bid end. Miss Thomas, you got her. Congratulations. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate that. She's adorable. Four. Thank you so, so much. You are going in for the giveaway. Number 10. I don't know if we're going fast or slow tonight. I got no idea. These next items, I was a little surprised when I put them in my Googler as to what they go for. Um, I hadn't seen them before, though, so I guess they're kind of hard to find. Now, you can't find them in the reproductions. But the OG ones like these, I was I was surprised. These are going to start at $16. And you are going to get one, two, three, four, five. You're going to get five. And there are three different kinds. And I'll just show you. All right. So, we'll, I don't know what one I want to start with. We'll start with this one. So, here is the first one. Now, this one has like a more detail on it. You can see the texture of his fur. And he also has his little monkey tail on the back. And these are essentially brass barrel full of monkeys. How cool is that? You can hang these on, like if you have a picture on your wall, hang them from the picture like dangling down or from your curtains or just hanging on um, a um, nail on your wall. I just think that these are so incredibly fun. So here's the first one and then we'll just do the twins and then we'll do the one off. Here is his twin brother and there is his tail on the back and look, 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 look. Ah, how fun. So there is the second one. And then we've got the other set of twins. Thank you, Heather. I see you in at 16. Thank you so very much. These ones kind of look like E.T. to me. Um, they don't have as much detail, but they do have their little monkey tails, so you can see here the difference. So then we've got this guy. And then we have his twin brother, Gerald. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Redhead Kitty Cat. I sent him to you. And then last but not least, we have this one, which I think he may be the oldest. He has a much darker patina and a different sculpt than the other four. And then he goes on the bottom. So we have got one, two, three, four, five brass chained monkeys isn't that fun i wonder if you could wear them as a necklace probably not but just so fun da, 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 da. brass monkey that chunky monkey so you're getting five of the brass monkeys 
and we are going to start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid and or I didn't even say use these as hooks like hook them on you know something like this and then hang your necklaces or whatever from them like little s hooks you don't have to hang them together you know what I mean they would be so fun and I see Verlaine for 25 thank you so much those are a a hoot and a holler, I do declare. Are they plant holders? I mean, they could hang anything, really. They're so fun. So fun. Thank you so much. You're going in for the giveaway. Thank you, thank you, Verlaine. Verlaine, 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 Verlaine. This next item is gonna just start at um, $10, but you are getting two items. I just fell in love with this makeup bag, which is so weird because it's not my colors really at all, but I really, really liked it when I saw it. So here is this makeup bag. Now the makeup bag is definitely vintage, is probably from the 70s. It is in such good condition. Now I think what drew me to it were the pink stripes and this green minty green zippers. These minty green zippers, I love those. And this one goes around here as well. Also, I am including this beautiful um, green and pink Aurora Borealis brooch. It also has some green enameling on it. If you can see here, 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 and here. This is a beautiful early 1950s brooch. It did not come on here, but I just thought that the green in this stone went really nice with the green on the makeup bag. And the makeup bag is very usable. It is very clean. It's got the original like suede on the inside. And then on the inside of the big compartment, it's got that um, wipeable vinyl. I did stuff it with tissue paper, but I'll take that out so you can see. The inside is so clean for being as old as it is. And this is a very usable little makeup bag or traveling jewelry bag or a flea market bag. And then you are getting, if you don't even like the bag, re-gift the bag and keep the beautiful brooch. It is just a standard brooch. Um, it's just simply pinned to the front. The brooch is a little teeny bit over two inches in length, but it is beautiful. And it's got gorgeous Aurora Borealis on it. And it's not missing any stones. It's got gorgeous gold filigree work. It's beautiful, but you're getting both. And I see Samantha in at 15. Thank you so much, Samantha. And look how clean the bottom is and everything. Yes, it's just super clean. But we are gonna start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one bid end i love these colors and i'm not a color person but i love it and to find one so clean and usable like look how clean that is i just love it i did Robin Watson, you got in there. Thank you so much. Robin Watson. For 21. Uh, Redhead Kitty Cat, did your cats take care of your stink bug for you? Are you safe? What did the three-legged dog say when he walked into, saloon, into the saloon? 
I'm looking for the man who shot my paw. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I don't care who you are. All right. So last week with Ash R, uh, she picked out and sold a spectacular pair of Victorian shoe clips. They were amazing. And um, I miss them tremendously. But with that being said, we have another pair. Now they are not quite as exquisite as the last pair, but they're still really, really beautiful. <gasps> Sorry, excuse me. And they're gonna start at $20. So at $20, we have this beautiful pair of Victorian shoe clips. Now they are going to come in this box. Disclaimer, in the words of Ash R, this is not the original box. This actually says Waltman First American Watch. And these are not watches. And it says made in America for adjustment 17 jewels. Um, I love these old presentation boxes. I hardly, I know I say I hardly ever find them for sale and I keep um, bringing them out, but that's just because I bought a lot of them, long story. But anytime you see these at antique stores or whatnot, they are not for sale. So I love to pick these up when I can, but I'm gonna start with the shoe clips. So here they are. These were meant to attach to the front of men's shoes in the Victorian era. Here is the back of them. They have beautiful designs on them. Um, and I like that they're all worn and aged. You can tell that these were really actually worn and it's like holding a little bit of history in my hands. Good night, Heidi. And I love them. Um, I don't see, it was funny because the pair I brought last week or the Ash R picked up, those were the first pair I'd ever brought to a live sale. And then not even like a week later, I found another pair because I just don't see these around where I live very much, but they are beautiful. And then as far as the presentation box goes, it is a lovely blue velvet with a gold base and a leather bottom. It's in very nice, good condition. It snaps shut really well and snaps open. It says Walton First American Watch, made in America, for adjustment, 17 jewels. And it's got the little compartment here for a watch or for whatever you want to use it for. Or in this case, Victorian shoe clips. And you're getting the box and the beautiful, beautiful shoe clips. It's Tarnish Treasures here. Hi, Tarnish Treasures. But I see Lee. Oh, no, I see Melissa Black in at 21. But we are going to start the countdown. Good night, Samantha. At 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Big end. Aren't they pretty? Which dog breed does Dracula love the most? Well, the bloodhound, of course. Of course. I love old boxes. I do. I do. And those are going to Dusty, Dusty Moose. Thank you so much, Dusty. I really appreciate you. Dusty Moose, you're going in for the giveaway. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. I didn't mean to copy Pam with her bloop bloops. All right, this next item is gonna start at $10. And you're not gonna believe where I got this. I got it at Jane's. But this is new old stock, paper art, five patient puzzles, not recommended for children under three years old. So these are the vintage little um, patient puzzles, if you will where they have the little metal balls and you try to get them into the little slots. 
I picked this up because the graphics on these are so creepy. These would be amazing for Halloween. So first we have the clown. The fact that they just like cut out his eyes is just okay. That was a choice. But we have the creepy clown, the monkey with no eyes, the little cowboy with no eyes, her with like, they just did a bad job and did it above her eyes, which I kind of love that more. And then she's got this, like, little plushed animal frog with no eyes. But this one, this one was my favorite. I was like, this is amazing for, like, a vintage Halloween display. It is this little girl and this green monstery mask with no eyes. That piece right there was the one that was like, I need to get that because Halloween, that would be amazing. And this does not have a barcode anywhere on it. And I think barcodes came out in, is either 1971 or 1973. So this would probably be prior to that. Um, and they're made in Hong Kong, but they're just so funny for Halloween. I think they're great, but this one is the best. That one is the best. But we are gonna start the countdown. Thank you, Roberta. So 15, 14, 13, I kinda wanna play. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one bid end. I got it on one. I got both his eyes and her eyes. Can you see? Can you see? I did it. I did it. I have patience. I did it. Roberta M, you got them. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I thought those were really cute. Thank you. Thank you. You're going in for the giveaway, Roberta. Thank you so much. Okay. You're, gosh, it's going to be such a surprise to y'all when you figure out where I got these. You're just going to have, you're just going to have no clue. I got these at Jane's. <laughs> we are going to start these at $14. And you are getting three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Twenty-five vintage new old stock. Are you ready for this? These are fabulous. These are fabulous. Chenille. Bumblebees. So you're gonna get, okay, six. I think I said there was 25, but there are six of the black and whites, and they are on their little picks. So they're vintage chenille bumblebee picks. So you've got six of the black and white. You have got five of the giant pink and black ones. These are much bigger than the black and white ones. I'll show you. You're getting five of the big pink and black ones. Oh, they're not pink and black. You are pink and black. Now these two don't have their little sticks. You're getting Two of the black and yellows. You're getting four of your classic yellow and brown with the red eyes. You're getting one fat blue with the googly eyes. You're getting one fat orange with the googly eyes. You're getting three red and black and they're still bundled together. And then you are getting three 
blue and black still bundled together. And all of their wings are still, they look a little weird right now because they are they were new old stock. So their wings haven't been separated and like put out yet. Like you would turn these and fluff them out, you know what I mean? But they're still tight, like they came out of the package. All of them are like that. But you're getting the whole new old stock box. And we are gonna start the countdown. I see pretty pansies in at 18. Thank you so much, dear. These are so fun for crafting or for a spring display. Imagine, okay, you know how people like to take those enamel flower brooches and put them in flower frogs in your windowsill? Imagine you do like a whole thing of that and then just stick these little chenille beads, bees like all over it. That would be so cute. But we are gonna start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Oh, thank you, Melissa. I, I try. I don't know. My brain just comes up with things, I reckon. Pretty pansies. You got it. Thank you so much. Those were fan. I got really excited when I found those. Do y'all want to see something that I found for myself at Jane's that I'm keeping? I'll show you. It's right here. I love these so much. I don't even know if you guys would want them because they're not like clean, but I don't care. I love them. Look what I got from Jane's that I'm keeping. A whole box of new old stock chenille frogs. Do you see how like dusty and dirt? But I don't care. But I don't care. I wanted them and I got them. They're so cool. Those are what I bought myself. I love them. I know they're so cool. I love them. You're going in for the giveaway, Purdy. Froglets, exactly. Little froglets. Okay, up next, now I don't do too much kitsch, but these were too good to leave behind. Um, I did ask an Amory Nate, Sorry, what? I did ask Enamor Amy for her help, but she couldn't figure out the maker of these either. And before anybody offers if there's interest, I do have to show you a condition issue on one of them. So they are gonna start at $14. And again, I don't do too much kitsch, but these were too good. So I'm actually gonna start with this one, okay? This one is kind of like a freebie, but he came with the set, so I'm not gonna throw him away. Um, this is the first one I'm showing. Now, he was originally broken right in half. I honestly did not see it when I purchased him, but I saw it later. He's even missing a place right here, but he, he was completely cracked all the way around. But honestly, from the front, you cannot tell at all, but I do want to point that out. But again, I wasn't going to throw him away um, because when you see the other three pieces, you'll understand. So he's the one with the issue, okay? So we have him. But these are little bisque anthropomorphic St. Patrick's Day pigs. Tumbling. Tumbling pigs, actually. We can't forget tumbling. So I'm actually gonna put them on my book so we can see. Okay, so we have this one here who's doing like that, wow. They really could have put some pants on him. That's all I'm gonna say. And then we've got the one that was repaired. I can imagine why he was the one that got broken because he's sitting kind of curiously. And then we have this one who's on all fours with his little legs doing a jig and his little piggy tail. 
And then we've got the final one. And I'm gonna take them down and show them individually, but I just wanna show you them all together. So each one is in a different pose. Very scared. And each one does have a little clover on their hat. So the other three are in really, really good condition. I love the anthropomorphic faces. They're so weird. They're like the weirdest pig people ever. And then we have this one. And then the repaired one. And then this one. But I love their little faces. They're so weird. They're pig people. St. Patrick's Day pig people. Tell me, do you have these? If you don't, look at them. They're pig people. They're so cool. And we don't know the makers. But <laughs> Ferguson, Fenwick, Fellini, and Clyde. I love it. But we are going to start the countdown on these little pig people at 15, 14. They're so weird. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. They're so peculiar. I had to, had to get them. Where'd you, where to put your pig people? That's the question of the day. I shall put my pig people here. Oh, Cindy, you were so, so very close. Um, those are going to Karen Gillette. Congratulations, Karen. Thank you so much. Karen Gillette. 426. So, so close. And you're going in for the giveaway, Miss. Oh, that is so sweet. Very, very sweet. Thank you, Karen. That was very, very kind. Okay. Speaking of kitsch, I have another very kitschy thing, which is also not like me. Um, And I did try to put this in my Googler, and I could not find out the value of it. Um, but I am going to start it at, you know, around what I paid for it. So I'm going to start at $18 if there is any interest. It is so cute and kitschy and vintage and I love it so much. Now I will tell you it has a little bit of wear on it. But to the right collection, I think it is just so darling. All right. So starting at $18, I have this vintage suitcase that says the Overnighter. And it is by Teen Mates. Teen Mates. So it does have like the sheen to the front. Um, I did I did wipe it with soapy water. Um, I might could do it again. Maybe the soap just left a little bit of residue, but the paint itself is in perfect condition. It's this little patent leather, black patent leather suitcase. And I love that it says the overnighter and then teen mates. It's this little like Betty Spaghetti Girl with her own little poodle bag and her little Betty Spaghetti Poodle Dog over here. And it's got all these flowers in the little field. I know, that's what I was thinking, to go to Grandma's house. And it's got the black handle. I also thought if you had like ceramic poodles, this could be a really nice little riser for them. Um, or a doll case. If you have a vintage doll, this would really protect them um, for storage but absolutely adorable. The suitcase is about 14 by nine and the zipper does work. It does have a little bit, it, you know, it could use a little bit of oiling, I reckon. The inside is a red vinyl. Overall, pretty good condition. It does have some scuffs and whatnot, but nothing too concerning. And the back and sides are very clean as well. Just some age to 
that, but it is the Overnighter Teen Mates. I know, or yes, there's just so much you could do with this. Or this would be a really cute traveling makeup bag, cosmetic bag. Um, I don't know. I just think I couldn't find this one online. I really couldn't. And then on the bottom, it's got the four little peggy, pegged feet. But this is starting at 18. We are gonna go ahead and start the countdown on this. And if you put in a bid before the countdown, you can get it uh, for the lowest offer. So, oh, thank you, Suzette. I see you in at 18. We are gonna start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Bid end. Wow, this sale has flown by. I can't believe it's already almost 10 o'clock. Where did the time go? Where did the time go? Angel girl. Thank you so very much. Angel girl, you were my girl. 21, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Yeah. That's what I thought. Thank you so much. We have only got three left. How crazy bananas is that? This night has flown by. Okay. This next piece, I did, I, this is new. I just got this. I haven't even looked it up yet, but I told you guys I love figural things. And this is figural and I love it. And I know nothing about it. I don't know the maker. Don't know how old it is, but I just know that I love it. So I hope you like it too. I think it's so unique. This is starting at $12. And gosh, I wish I knew the maker. If you guys know, tell me. But... I have this little cordial glass with a crow in a top hat as the handle. Now, I might not know a lot about glass, but this seems like a really well-made piece. But for me, <laughs> but for me, I really like corn. I loved the crow in the top hat as the handle. I thought that was just so fun. Um, I just love anything crows in general, like the figural crows and whatnot. At first I kind of thought he was a penguin, but I think he is a crow just because of the way his feet are. He's too tall. He's not all squatty like a penguin would be. I definitely think he is a crow. But his beak has no chips, which is crazy. It is very pointy and sharp. Um, the glass is kind of cut and serrated. And the little glass is just at just under six inches. But I would totally drink out of this and just feel so happy. It's so unique. But I see Christina in at 12. Thank you so much, Christina. Again, anything figural, I tend to pick up. I cannot help it, but this was too fun. But we are going to start the countdown on this. At a stuffed crow, stop it. I want it. I want a stuffed crow. I'm jealous. We're going to start the countdown of 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bid end. 1968 Old Crow Cocktail Cordial. Well, I got two things right. No, three. Vintage Crow Cordial. So do I, Dusty. We're going to fight over it. <laughs> We're going to fight. And that is going to Christina. Thank you so much, Christina. 
Christina Nix for 14. Thank you, thank you. We only have two items left, how sad. Christina! Christina, do you wanna play? Number 29. I don't think you've ever done it before, Christina, have you? Be nice. It's been a long night, Christina. No magical bird nests, please. Oh, thank you, angel girl. That makes one of us. <laughs> Christina, do you want to play? Hey, hey. All you have to do is tell me what type of item you want me to go scour the withering horde for. And I'll do it. I'll do it for you, Christina. You're in charge. I just work here. Not in my office and not for sale. I kind of collect those. I'm sorry. Try to be a, maybe just a little bit more vague. Because it helps with my interpretation. And my, my looking. When I'm looking. <laughs> I'm not making any sense, am I? There is a beautiful piece, though, at an antique store in Alabama that I want real bad, but he wants $500 for it. Victorian jewelry. Well, then. Well, then, Christina. Um, let me see if I have something. If not, I will... Figure something out. Give me just a minute. Victorian jewelry. fun. It's not related at all, but when do I ever sell stuff that's actually related? Never. Okay, hang on. Victorian. What did I just do with the devil? Pin. I just found it. What the world? Did I drop it? Ah, I found it. Sorry. Sorry. Let me just finish putting it together. I'll do it on camera. Junkin ASMR. There you go. That should be the name of my channel. Junkin ASMR. Kaleidoscopes and more. Kaleidoscopes and cheesy jokes. <gasps> oh my gosh. Did I just invent new merch? Kaleidoscopes and cheesy jokes here at the Withering Cottage? What? Whoever knew those two things rhymed? Kaleidoscopes and cheesy jokes. I have to buy more kaleidoscopes then. This isn't working. Hang on. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm changing. I'm changing game. I'm changing tactics. Changing tactics. Okay. This is going to start at $16. And this is amazing. This is one I've hoarded for quite some time. Um, this has a patent date on it of 1908. So, teetering. We're cheating a little. We're teetering. But it is this amazing B 
beaded brooch. It is metal work. So this is metal wire and beads. And it's got gorgeous glass beads. It doesn't have any damage on it. It's got five strands of dangly black glass beads, kind of teetering the morning period. It's got a glass center stone. And it is 100% hand beaded. And then on the back, it says, Patent 9395-1908. I'm not sure if this was, I'm sure it was mass produced, but I, I haven't seen another one quite like it. So I don't know how many of them were made. It's amazing that it is in such good condition for being so fragile, for being beaded. These might be like mercury beads here on the corner and here. They might be little mercury beads. And then I am going to include it with this Lady Chesterfield box. It is this old box with a velvet, uh, blue velvet interior. And I just think, what's in the center? It is glass. It's a cut, like glass glass a cut little piece of glass in the center and it's going to come in this old box i guess it would look better going this way let's do it this way there you go just beautiful and we are going to oh let me tell you the measurements of this it is three inches three inches by three inches and we are going to start the countdown on this piece at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, I'm having a hard time showing this one, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, bid end. It's just crazy to me that none of those are broken. My mom actually wore this when we went to the, um, the ball. I let her borrow this. She wore this to the ball. The, um, what's the name of that? Bridgerton ball we went on together. She wore this there. Kelly Smith, you got it. Congratulations. It is so, so beautiful. Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm writing because I don't have those written down. You know it. You know it. Thank you so much. And we are on our last item of the night, which is crazy. I feel like this night really just flew by. Did it not? I feel like it did. And we are ending on jewelry. This is a beautiful piece. I wish I knew more about it. Um, I will tell you, it is 1 20th 12 karat gold filled. And it is so precious. So this is going to start at $18. And I don't know the age of it. I'm so sorry. I just don't. I don't know if it's antique or vintage. But it is this beautiful, oops, good thing my hand was there peach cameo and it is just an inch in size so it is so small but very well done it's got this twisting detailing around it and what is so nice about this one is it can be worn as a pendant or as a little brooch now the the um pendant part which I think was so well designed, swivels down. So when you want to wear it as a brooch, it's not sticking up, 
but then when you want to wear it as a pendant it just swivels back up and you can wear it on a chain now i don't have a chain that goes with it she is wearing a little pearl necklace she has a little bow in her hair she is just at about an inch high and then she does have that little plaque here that says the 12 karat gold filled and there is also a little maker's mark but i don't know that maker's mark so i can't tell you who made it but i just love that little detail right there i think it is so well designed um it is gold colored so it is gold colored and then it is also coming with this hp linder five plaza way Atlanta, Georgia vintage blue velvet ring box, but because it's such a small brooch, the little brooch backing tucks into where the ring would go so beautifully. So it just makes it really nice for display in the little box. I love an old velvet box. I'm a sucker for an old velvet box. Um, so she is going to come in there. So when she ships to you, she'll be nice and snug in there. Nothing will happen to her. Um, but I said in shipping, okay? I didn't say in my hands. She's fine. But really lovely little cameo, pendant, and brooch. But we are going to start the countdown on her at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one bid end it's so pretty shut up so i don't drop her again okay thank you linda thank you so much and that one is going to Lisa Jens for 28. Thank you so very much, Lisa. I really appreciate that. Yay! And I can't wait till next week because I got some more fun stuff um, from Jane's. I do, I do. Before we do the giveaways, I got two recaps really quick. They're both just going to turn into straight claims. So the first one is this 27 by 27 we decided this was plums plum needlepoint and it was from boop, 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 elsa williams needle craft creations hand embroidered and this was originally 45 dollars back in the day but this is just a large blueberry or why do i keep wanting to say blueberry plum needlework and although it is a 27 by 27 i think that's just how it's transported but you could trim this out and make put it um to reupholster a footstool or a chair or just frame it um really really pretty sorry you guys said it went like this this is going to be a straight claim and this is boop, 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 boop. fifth or nope this is $14, number 15. $14, number 15. I should have just made it $14, number 14. But it's $14, number 15 for the vintage plum needlework. Last recap of the evening. This will also be a straight claim. I have this beautiful, whoop, excuse me, excuse me. I got you, Lori. Thank you so much. Uh, partridge in a pear tree. And my last recap and straight claim of the night is what you guys have so lovingly named the mustache birdcage. Um, this is a beautiful vintage wooden birdcage with the metal under tray. It does have the little drawer here to pull it out so you can clean the tray if you want. It also has a pretty wide door 
so that you can fill it with whatever you need. Right now, there is a little bird and bird nest in there. I know you guys said these are look like mustaches, but I think technically they're supposed to be wings, bird cage and all, you know. Um, I love the color of it. It is like a rich pinky purple. Does it come with a gremlin? I could put a gre I could put a gremlin in here. <laughs> Um, it's got the little tin can little feeders, which I love. Um, what else about it? It's just fantastic. It's got the four little feet. Like I said earlier, I did my, redid my daughter's room with one of these and I just bought a light kit from Amazon and put it in the door. So I turned hers into a little lamp. Uh, this is going to be a straight claim of $45 and this is number 24. $45, nope, I lied. Well, if you put 24, you can get it. But it's $45 number three, I'm sorry. But if you put 24 or three, I'll know what you mean. But it's $45 number three for the vintage wooden birdcage with or without a gremlin. With or without a gremlin. $45 number three. And that is it for tonight's sale. That went by so quickly. I'm in shock. Where did, where did the time go? <laughs> Mom, you already have a bird cage. That is good bird cage. Are you gonna turn into a lamp? Like your granddaughter's room? Mom, Kathleen, you saved me. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. All right. And we're going to do the giveaways. The first giveaway of the night for your porch. That would be really cute. Um, the first giveaway of the night is this lovely vintage jewelry set I got at Jane's. It is a vintage rhinestone necklace and matching little earrings. Now, mind you, there is some oxidation and things on here, but it's still really, really pretty. So that is the first giveaway. Oh, I got to dump you guys in here. How funny would that be if my mom won? I swear it wouldn't be cheating. So that jewelry set is going to number seven, which is Christina Nix for the crow handled box or pff, glass. Doy. Doy. Thank you so much, Christina. And the next giveaway is for this beautiful bracelet, vintage bracelet. I forget what someone had said these stones may be, but it really is quite pretty. So that is the second giveaway, and that is going to, let me show you my empty hands, mix it around. Number two, which is Roberta M. on the Goose Dog. <laughs> Isn't that funny when you got it? I was like, hey, you never know. You might could get the giveaway. That is funny. Thank you so much, Roberta. For the Goose Dog, who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Well, thank you guys so much. I had so much fun with you guys. I'm so sorry it was just me and not mom and not Ash R. But thank you guys for hanging out with me anyways. And if you're not doing anything, look, I'm going to ask you all out on a date. If you're not doing anything like next Tuesday and you want to just hang out, I'll be here. You can hang out with me. Um... Next Tuesday night at 7 30 p.m. Eastern. I would really, really appreciate it. <laughs> and a huge, huge, huge thank you to Redheaded Kitty Cat. Thank you so much. And thank you, Amy, for always helping out in the chat as well. And um, yeah, if you guys aren't doing anything next Tuesday, I'll be here. It'd be fun. And thank you once again for joining me out. The Withering Cottage. Good night.